This is a description of the research in neutrino detection done between Hazy Research Group and the IceCube South Pole Neutrino Detector. This video builds on the previous IceCube video and describes our work on coincident particle detection, which achieves over 98% accuracy. The IceCube detector is a detector located at the geographic South Pole, and it looks for neutrinos. The detector's purpose is to determine the origin of neutrinos in the universe. I'm now going to describe a neutrino detection, as well as one of the difficulties faced by the detector. In a typical detection, a particle will move through the detector. Each time a photon is detected by a sensor, the time and position information of the photon's detection is recorded as a data point. Over the time period of the particle's passing, a series of data points is collected. From this data series, the detector reconstructs the path of the traveling particle. This reconstruction can be used to determine the neutrino's origin in the universe. However, in some events, there are multiple particles entering the detector. For example, suppose that a second particle has also entered the detector as shown. Now, the reconstruction algorithm becomes confused, as it assumes that all the data points in this detection came from a single particle. This generates inaccurate reconstructions. Our challenge was to detect when these coincident particles occurred. By exploiting the fact that spatially local points tend to belong together, we can apply robust statistical techniques to correctly cluster the points. This allows us to separate the particles. Thus, when the reconstruction algorithm is applied, each particle is reconstructed separately. Our software can determine the number of particles correctly with less than 2% error. This is an 80% improvement over the current software. We expect our work to be included in the IceCube reconstruction software this coming year. Thank you to the Graduate School, Francis Halzen and Gary Hill, and the IceCube team. Also, we would like to thank all of our sponsors, 